All right, welcome back to Cooking with Krager. We're not cooking today. We're actually going to be carving a jack-o'-lantern. Um, <laughs> we filmed one of these last year, uh, but we had a really warm fall and... Uh, we left it sitting on the table. We left it window. sitting on the kitchen table by the window for <laughs> probably two weeks. They were already rotten, I think, when we brought it home, but that just made everything worse, so... It was black. Well, I'm going to put a clip of that yeah. right now. All right, so... She so never did it as a kid. Oh. Uh, should we stop filming? I don't think we're going to be doing a jack-o'-lantern today. There's bits of mold in there too. Yep. Okay, I'm going to stop filming. Yeah, so that's what ended up happening. So we bought this pumpkin a week ago. Yes. Or was it two weeks now? It was a week ago because we were going to do it over the Thanksgiving weekend and then oh, we ended right. up not doing it. So this one's been sitting for a week. Uh, it was only on the table, I think, a it day. It was hardly on the table. Yeah. I don't think it was even a full day. Yeah, we put it out in the garage, so hopefully that helps. The garage. <laughs> but we did buy a new one. So we'll go with this one. We'll use the pimply face here, probably. Just picked this up yesterday. Yep, even though this that's actually the better side, I think. But you want warts. Well. Oh, well, I guess if you were doing a witch. Yeah. We're not doing a witch, so. This one did have this little bit of mold or whatever it is. <laughs> that was the, that was there when we bought it, so. I want, I don't know if it got into the middle or not, but we're gonna find out. I uh, just liked how it had some green on there. Yes. Actually, the green still didn't leave, so anyways. Hmm. Uh, and then we bought this cheap-ass kit. We bought one of these last year, too. We didn't keep it. I was so frustrated that the pumpkin was rotten that we uh, didn't go very far with it. Uh, this does come with some stencils. Oh, I'm just going to turn it this way a bit so the GoPro can see what we're doing here. So there's a bat. I'll turn it this way so you can see what we're doing here too. A bat. Uh, Skull. Okay, I can't tell from that's upside a, down. That's a c cat? I don't know what that is. Well, it's got it on the inside Squeak. of the cover. Squeaks, whatever, yeah. Uh, some space alien thing. So some of them can get a little more complex. Uh, and this does have a rating, right? Like yeah. I, I think it had, yeah, back yeah. rating up the top there. Yeah. Skull and well, a witch. That looks like, um, what the heck was it? He-Man and Skeletor? Mm, yeah, it could be, yeah, it could be a Skeletor. It looks like a skeleton mask and a hood or something, so. But I printed this one off. Uh, I'm gonna go with this. I, uh, yeah, you saw how my uh, gingerbread decorating video went. I don't have a lot of artistic ability, so uh, so we're going to with something a little bit simpler. And yeah, I guess we'll pop this open and get these out. I don't know how good these tools are going to be. Maybe uh, you should insert a picture of uh, my last jack-o'-lantern, because we use these tools. When did you make work a couple of years ago. Okay, you'll have to, yeah, so, put me a picture and I'll, uh, I'll put it up over here. It must have been 2019 before COVID hit. Oh, probably. Christmas. Uh, well, Thanksgiving, I should say, yeah, good time. Okay, so we have two saws, we have a poker, we have a docker. Here, let me show those to the GoPro. So we've got a small saw and a big saw, a docker, a poker, and then a scoop. Those are the tools we have. They're fairly cheap. Now that book has the instructions on how to use each of those utensils. Yep, it does. Okay, uh, so yeah, the first thing I want to do is I want to cut into this puppy and see if it's good. Uh, if it is, we're going to have two pumpkins, but I guess Ooh, that's... I could do some uh, mashed potato and pumpkin. Mm. Yes, over here for uh, fellow Aussies, Canadians and that don't eat pumpkin as a vegetable. Basically, they waste it at Halloween time making jack-o'-lanterns. Yep. And then that's it. You can't get pumpkin for the rest of the year <laughs> unless it's just canned, pureed pumpkin. Pretty much. We don't eat pumpkin so much as a vegetable here. And I miss it sometimes, roast pumpkin. Well, <laughs> we've got plenty of pumpkin. <laughs> gonna roast pumpkin all week if you want. Here's what I'm gonna do as well. Oh, Saw this on the uh, clip from last year. I'm gonna put this on my head so you can see what I'm carving into and you can see what the inside looks like when I get to it. That's probably too low on my ears. I can't even see what I'm doing with this. I gotta put it on first, hang on. 
Uh, yes, so I want that kind of downwards. And thanks for keeping the camera rolling because it's nothing better than having all that extra oh, video to edit out. Okay, now if I can. <laughs> Do I look goofy? Because that's like the point. You've got a jock strap or something on your head. It wouldn't be the first time. I just want to get the uh, GoPro <laughs> Wi Fi onto this so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, it's not even. I don't want to sign in. I just want to go to my camera. View media. Join the wireless network. What's your password? Oh, Dipsh89. Are you serious, Craig? No, it's just loading up the media from the GoPro now. Oh, I don't want media, I want live. It, the top strap, Craig, move it over more into the middle because it's over one side, it might. Like the, that, that strap here. Oh, my, my mohawk's not right? Yeah, there we go. I pity the fool that doesn't know how to wear one of these. Actually, that's not too bad. Uh, actually, I do need it. I'm gonna need to be a bit ahead, but at least I can see what I'm doing. Last last year, uh, we didn't keep the GoPro footage because I think the camera was pointing like to the countertop here, not even showing the uh, pumpkin, so. Okay. Well, I don't know why I'm looking over there because I've got the GoPro in my melon. Oh my God, this is gonna take hours. So there's two ways you can do a jack-o'-lantern. You can carve out the top, that way you can set a candle in the middle or in, on the inside once you've carved it. I think the newer way is to carve out the bottom. And then you just sit the candle down and yeah. sit that on top. Yeah. I'm not doing that. Ooh, it feels a little soft. When was the last time you did this? Last year. No, I mean a proper, <laughs> complete Oh, one. Jesus. Uh, we... Last year, all you did was cut out the top. Yeah, I have done one in this house. So in the last seven years, We've done one here, really? but I think it's only been one. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh. Yep, we're looking good. <gasps> that means I get to roast this whole pumpkin. Okay, so I'm gonna put the seeds in here. Cause you're gonna roast some yep. seeds? Uh, pumpkin some? seeds. Oh, sorry. Oh. Actually, before I dig my hand in there. Let me look. Oh. Ooh. Yep. Hmm. Okay. So this got through I don't know if you can see it there, but oh, it got through down to there, but it didn't get all the way, all the way through, so. Well, you could even cut a bit more opening if you wanted to. Yeah, uh, no, because I'd have to glue it to this end. This has to be exactly the same, oh, so it yeah, sits in there. Oh, yeah, you want to sit down on top, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, here's the messy part, so let's just get at it. This little scoop works pretty good. Cleaning the sides off. Got a bit of a serrated edge. There we go. Actually, I might move the GoPro to the tripod now because I have, it was more just to show the opening when I cut the top off. Ooh. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna put those there and I'll separate the seeds out. They're all over the floor already, so. As long as George doesn't eat them. I'm getting more on the floor than I am in the bowl. There's a few seeds in there, I'll, I'll get those out, but yeah, that little scoop works pretty good. And this is a lot less black and furry than last year's. <laughs> it's hard to reach in there and see them at the same time. Okay, I might just get a bit of this, bit of stuff hanging from the top. Get that off. Uh, all right, so let's move this back. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, Mom. Remember, there's no f***ing swearing in my videos. Craig, that's too much. How's my hair? <laughs> I wonder if I should tape it? Yes. Get, get the tape. Maybe if someone had read the instructions on how to do it. What did you say? <laughs> Remember, I get to edit these. I'm going to hear what you said. Uh, yeah, that'll work, I think. Oh. Yeah, see, this might be hard to do like that. Okay, I'm going to do it this way. So I'm going to use the docking, and then this will just poke right through the paper, and it'll cut the melon. Sorry, the outside of the melon. Uh, pumpkin. So, oh my God, 
If you're watching this video, watch how carefully I'm doing this now and then compare it to the end of when I'm doing this because it's probably going to be a lot rushed at the end. Oh my god. You just need the pretty much the general outline. Yeah. Right, so. <laughs> I'm not doing very well with it. Uh, okay. Well, I don't know how I'm going to... Yeah. A circle. Maybe just punch it. Oh, you know what? You're right. That's what I got to do here. Do this. Just, Again, you could just use the puncture tool I prob for the whole thing. I really. probably should be because this is not. Because you really just need the like a, a to guideline know where the line yep. is, sort of thing. Oh, come on! Is that the whole nose? Did I get this side? I think I did. Okay. This is probably for kids or something. Too. It is. So your yep. hands are going to be bigger. So. Wow. My, I don't have finesse with my hands. You've probably seen that in some of the cooking videos. Oh, well, this is going to be crooked. <laughs> See how fast I'm going now? Because <laughs> precision is Good not... You're not carving two pumpkins, Craig. Yeah. It's bunching up, so I don't know if that's still lined up. Okay, uh... Well, you nearly finished this part. Yeah. Ooh. All right, so there, I think everything's done. The paper is actually starting to fall apart now because it's damp. Okay, you can kind of see it. Definitely see it there, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then I guess just cut all this out mm -hmm. and go from there. So I'm going to use the precision knife. This is the smaller one, or the precision, <laughs> precision saw. How are you going to get this with the GoPro? Uh, yeah, it's a good point. Was I even recording when I cu cut it open? I don't know. Probably not. Okay, well, we might not have that footage. <laughs> uh, okay, so I need to get to here and the saw. Okay, there, I think. Now, how do you do that, though? Just go around it. It'll work. You just got to be careful with it. Did I go all the way through with everything? I can see it over here. Can I go that way? Just careful with the circle. Yeah. That's why I want to push it inwards so I don't lose that. Okay. I'll have to clean around a bit on the inside, mm -hmm. but let's just get all the... Oh, I can probably... Finesse it after. Yeah. Okay, uh, next eye is going to be harder to see because it's on the green. I don't know if I can see it. So where do I need to go? To there and then across. I can't see the markings on this angle here at all. So I'm kind of free-balling it, sorry, eyeballing it, not free-balling free -ball. it. Whoopsie-daisy. See what I mean? Eh. That'll work. It's a jack-o'-lantern, Craig. Yeah. All right, get the nose. So growing up, obviously Halloween was uh, a huge thing for me as a kid. Um, Probably a lot of kids in Canada. Yeah. 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 And I, I was in a small town, so it was, you know, you pretty much know everyone, every, all the houses you go to, it's pretty safe. But uh, I just remember all of the uh, uh, costumes you could buy. They were the cheapest MFing things you could buy. Everything came with some sort of a smock. It was like made out of plastic. And then whatever the theme was, if it was Spider-Man or the Hulk or Superman or whatever it was, that was painted on there. And then you had that mask that was made out of hard plastic of the face of whatever you were, you were uh, dressing up as. And it had that elastic on the back that was so thin, it looked like dental floss, and it always broke. And then you had two small holes where your nose was, and of course it never lined up because every kid's face is different, right? 
and then you had this tiny hole, I don't even know how big it was. Like when you punch a hole in a piece of paper, like a hole punch, that's how big the mouth hole was, I guess, to let air in. And all I ever remember doing as a kid is sticking my tongue out into that hole and just feeling the sharp edges of it. I don't know why I kept doing it, but I'm sure many other kids did the same thing. So those were the cheap ass store-bought ones, but I remember my mom, who's actually really, really, really artistic. Um, she made me a teddy bear costume. This was for a school play, I can't remember. It was actually for a Christmas school play too, now that I think about it. And uh, it was basically a shirt and a pair of pants and then she did some crochet or something or whatever and made all of these uh, bits of fabric kind of hang off uh, to look like a you know like a proper teddy bear and it was really soft and stuff and I remember we used to have that in a, we used to have an old trunk that had all our costumes and stuff in it. I think as mom and dad got older they didn't dress up and stuff. Where's the edge of the mouth here? There we go. I remember wearing that out and I went as Chewbacca. I mean, Chewbacca and a teddy bear is pretty close, right? So my mom also made a paper mache guitar. I think it was actually for Blair originally, but I ended up using it. But she made a paper mache guitar for a air band. Do you have air band concerts in Australia? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Anyways, it's just kids pr pretending to play for a song and they go on stage and pretend they're singing the song and playing the song and all that stuff. But the uh, paper mache guitar was like the whole bass uh, part here was a heart. So it's like a big, huge heart. And then it had the, uh, the frets go up or the, the neck go up and the frets off that. I remember that. Uh, using that in, in the, oh Jesus. Using that in one of the uh, air band contests I went in, we didn't win. But she also made me, oh, I gotta be careful when I push this through. I gotta make sure that's all the way through. Uh, she also made me a synthesizer out of cardboard and I remember using that that was, that was so cool so I don't know if I ever thanked you mom for all that stuff but as a kid I loved all that I probably didn't say it to you and that was my fault but I just hope you know that I absolutely loved all that stuff what you could do is saw through from one you know what from the bottom up and then I don't need the middle part so I can just do that because then you're not pushing the whole thing out yeah Oh, that looks really weak there. Come on. I know I probably should be pushing this from the inside outwards, but this seems to be working, so I'm gonna stick with that. Okay. Ah, it's actually not so bad. Yeah. I can't complain for... Just, I gotta I clean it. it looks bigger than the other, yeah. but I kinda like the green in that. See? There's a scar. You can have that looks like a scar running down his face now. Should we name this Jack o' Lantern? What? Jack Scarsguard? No? Okay. Alright, so I'll show the GoPro, I think. I'm just trying to see if there's anything else I can I guess the nose I can. So what I should have Ooh, I gotta be careful with this now though. What I probably should have done is when you're cutting, you want to make sure you go at a bit of a wider angle so you don't have to do this cleanup after. Not From up. the outside, Craig, this eye here. Yep. I can see some of the flesh hanging down at the top. Oh yeah, can I see that. Can you see that? Yep. Okay. I just had to look in there. I wasn't sure if you could see that from the outside. Actually, can I fix that with this? Without ripping the face off from the inside. So this mouth, I'm going to have to do the same thing with this one. Just follow where I am and just cut a bit of the inside part. I'm gonna clean this tooth up some. Well, this is going way better than the uh, gingerbread house. I'll tell you that right now. Just take that chunk out from the middle that you just cut off. Yeah, I just wanna get this bit. nose a bit cleaned up. This eye I'll probably have to clean up a little more. It's actually not too bad. I don't know, what do you think? I think it looks fine. Yeah. Okay, I guess what we can do is put a candle in there, turn the lights off and give it a try, yeah. right? I mean, I didn't think it was going to go this fast. Do we... I've got a large candle. Alicia found this orange 
Oh, it's pineapple mango, but yeah, so this candle. Yeah, so it's nice. Yeah, so this will work. It's got three wicks on it, so we'll put that in there and use that. Okay, so we'll pop that puppy in there. This thing still work? Go. Nope, 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 nope. We're gonna have the nicest smelling jack-o'-lantern. Oh, that looks good. Does it? Nice. And I think the three candles helps like really light it up. Put it this way. So the gope, oh yeah. That's not too shabby at all. I know I probably shouldn't be proud of something that simple, but I am, so. <laughs> okay. Uh, do this for a thumbnail? Although it'll probably be a give it away, won't it? Oh, whatever. <laughs> you know what? George should meet it. Yes. Georgie! Come here! George! What's that? Oh. Georgie, come here! Oh, George is scared. Come on! <laughs> Come here, buddy. Oh, oh. <laughs> Georgie, what is it? George, come on. Look. Nope. Come here. Do you want a treat? <gasps> What's this? You have to get near the pumpkin to get it. Come on. Come here. Come on. Come on, Georgie. Is it scary? <laughs> Come on, buddy. Well, it's working. It's scaring him. Yeah, but he's scared of everything. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come, come on, on, George. You can do it. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Come here. Georgie, come on. Georgie, want? <laughs> come here. There it is. That's uh, another episode of Cooking the Crager. No cooking today. Uh, but we did a, a decoration, uh, sorry, a jack-o'-lantern carving. We tried this last year, it failed horribly. After we filmed that, we actually went to the grocery store again and tried to find another pumpkin that wasn't moldy and they were all moldy. As always, <laughs> thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next video. Take care. And there we go. Got our little zombie gnome next to it too. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe not.